to YouTube. Uh, welcome back to the channel. This is Ted Corner. Today I'm going to be showing you a cloud gaming option that you can use right on your phone, your laptop, um, your refrigerator if you have one that advanced. Um, Linux, Mac, this thing can literally be used on just about anything and you can use it to play PC console games on your phone. Um, stick around because I'm going to be pumping out a lot more content just like this showing you uh, different cloud gaming services that I'm actually using today that I think you guys would be interested. So without further ado, let me show you what's going on. Hopefully you think that's pretty cool like myself. I've been cloud gaming for quite a while since Remote Play first came out in 2014. I remember one of the first YouTube videos I actually made for you guys was me showing you how to get around the limitations that they put on Remote Play after they released it because originally you were able to use LTE and 4G. They took that away. Um, so I think in 2017 one of my first videos on YouTube was actually how do you get around that programmatically using Android development with a rooted phone. Um, nowadays, you totally don't need to do that. There's so many different options out there. Uh, I'm going to start making a bunch of videos on how you can actually use your phone and a controller to take advantage of a lot of these cloud gaming services. So stick around, stay tuned, and cheers. Let me show you a little more B-roll of me actually playing games off of my phone using 5G. So I'm going to be putting the links and the steps on how to set this all up for yourself in the description below. But I just wanted to give you a quick run through on how to set this up yourself. So you're going to want to subscribe to Shadow. Shadow is a PC in the cloud. Um, it's different than maybe all the other times that you bought a PC before in the past because before you bought a PC at a flat rate, you had the hardware forever. And then that PC eventually um, became worthless because it started becoming obsolete and wasn't as powerful. Um, these are all things that you don't have to worry about with Shadow. Shadow is a PC that you subscribe to. Um, it's located within a data center. Someone actually has to go install um, your hardware and set up your instance. So um, there is the wording and terminology of pre-ordering a Shadow. So um, depending on what market you're in, whether you're in the United States or in say like uh, Europe or any of the other markets that Shadow operates in, um, how long it takes for your Shadow to get activated might be a day to a few days to weeks, whatever. Depends on your situation, depends on your market. But it is the best gaming solution, in my opinion, for you to use, at least to have in your arsenal of um, cloud gaming services. But I mean, if, if you had to ask me, if you only watched this video, I would honestly use Shadow over everything else. Um, but that depends on whether you own a console or not, too. So, I mean, I'll get into more in-depth videos on um, what makes sense for who and who should be using what service. But for the most part, Shadow is a service that I wholeheartedly recommend to everyone because it's really cool for you to not only get your work done on, but also for you to play games on. And you can use it from anywhere. So, uh, you're going to want to subscribe to Shadow from there. Um, if you have an Xbox Game Pass uh, subscription, aka Xbox Live, download the Xbox Game Pass app. I'll have a link in the description below as well. From there, you can uh, install basically Xbox Game Pass PC titles on your Shadow PC, which you can use your phone to play. Um, 
and the way you would go about using your phone you can connect either a ps4 controller can, uh, a xbox controller any one of those third party like controllers that you can get online or this is what i recommend this is the razer kishi this is honestly going to take you to the next level um, i wouldn't go anywhere without this i wouldn't try to do any cloud gaming without this and years ago this was not available um, this essentially turns your phone into a switch actually better than a switch I won't even call it a switch because i mean if you have a note 20 ultra like me you're going to have a better screen than a switch um, you're going to have more functionality um, you're going to be able to play a wider variety of titles because you'll have em emulation you'll have um, these cloud gaming services so like any console game that you want to play and then also pc titles so i mean blows the switch out of the water if you basically buy a razor kishi you basically turned your phone into um, a gaming powerhouse um, that's what i recommend you can use that on shadow um, that's what i recommend wholeheartedly if you check out xcloud obviously you'll be playing games from um, microsoft's data centers to your phone and that's cool but you'll realize that compared to using xcloud to shadow shadow gives you the ability to use all of your screen a way higher resolution on your phone um, you can access shadow from a variety of different devices it's a full gaming pc instead of having a game streamed and it's way higher quality like everything about it is better besides the fact that you're playing the games in actually higher resolution and besides the fact that the stream is getting streamed in higher resolution um, when you think about the fact that consoles don't even play at like maximum settings compared to pcs you're leaving a lot on the table <laughs> And then the fact that, you know, you can play on a higher frame rate on a PC versus a console. I mean, for Gears of War, for example, I'm playing in like 90 frames per second. <laughs> so, I mean, just stuff to think about. Um, me as a person who's tried all of these platforms, this is the way to go in my opinion. You should definitely subscribe to Shadow. Hopefully this video brought you a lot of value. Cheers.